Hi everyone, welcome to Curated by Becca's meal kit number 103 for June 2nd to 4th. Happy June! Thanks so much for ordering this week and thanks for letting us be a part of your special celebration at home. We have a beautiful menu for you tonight, some classics uh, that we're revisiting, uh, both on the wine and on the food side, so why don't we go ahead and get started. Um, first thing we're going to do uh, for the main course, uh, take your fingerling potatoes and your broccoli, toss it with olive oil, salt and pepper, and generously, uh, and then you're going to throw in the oven for 15 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. And next up, we're going to get a cast iron or a heavy bottom pan uh, warmed up. We're going to do uh, one tablespoon of canola or grapeseed oil per person. We want to get it so that it's uh, medium high. Now we have cooked this uh, steak sous vide already, uh, so it's already to rare. So you're really just searing it and bringing it up to medium rare. And we've got some instructions in case you want to do it a little bit more than medium rare. So salt and pepper, both sides. You're going to take it out of the bag and you're going to put it on some paper towels because we do a little, little bit of a soy marinade and... Um, and a uh, the sous vide and so it will have some juices there so salt and pepper generous and then once your pan starts to smoke a little bit you know it is ready while that's happening i want to have some wine this is the pasta di luce uh, monsole pino grigio from uh, veneto um, I want to make sure veneto orientale is actually the doc in italy and it's great. And we're actually featuring this at the Boys and Girls Club Gala next week, which I'm super excited. Sold out, 480 people, can't wait. It's going to be a beautiful, fun night and a great fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club, which I'm uh, involved in. I'm, I'm the board chair. Love this one. Okay, now I see this stuff starting to smoke. So we're going to put our flank steaks in there, about 90 seconds per side. And then we're going to drain off the oil and throw some butter in there. So let's just get a bowl ready with a little trivet there so it doesn't burn the countertop. And then we can start on our appetizer. So we've got our endive, our lemon vinaigrette. Use the, the boxes that it came in because why not? Why dirty a bowl that you have to wash? You can compost this stuff right afterwards. You shouldn't need to season it all because um, the vinaigrette has salt and pepper in it, but give it a nice stir. And then we're going to plate it up with the chev. And I hope you guys do an appetizer first and then take a break and then the main course and then take a break and then have some dessert. I just like to try to do it all in a short time frame. So I know I need a spoon for the shove, but not quite ready yet. Let me turn up the heat just a smidge. All right, so while that guy is going, we've got our whipped Quebec goat's cheese shove. And get it on the plate. Maybe a little bit more on this one, so let's spread it out. Our son is gone this week, so he doesn't get to enjoy this lovely meal kit. And he really likes this one, especially the chimichurri mayo with the steak. And you're thinking, hey, the steak, you need to turn it over. So yes, I will. We want a nice little sear on it. And I actually uh, maybe took the chef out a little bit early, so a little harder to work with. That's room temperature. You want to bring things close to room temperature, but the chef, it's easier to spread without. And get it to the outside of the plate so that you can see it all in your pictures that hopefully you're posting to Instagram for all your friends to see. And hey, today was a big day today because Becta got uh, its highest ranking ever on the Canada's Best 100 list. Hmm. Best restaurant in Canada. And we were one of seven in the Ottawa area with Les Fougères, Supply and Demand, Atelier, Alice, uh, North and Navy, and one of my missing, Riviera. Um, and how great is that? We had seven, seven slots in the top 100. 
So really special. Uh, everyone was super stoked at work. Uh, it was great. It was just great to see um, the whole community coming together and celebrating uh, this beautiful accomplishment. And hard to do over the last couple of years because there was a lot of close downs. And, um, you know, for the first time ever, they actually took takeout into consideration. So I think um, Curated by Becta actually helped us get on there as well. So thanks for all your support on that. This is maybe a little too much endive. We just want uh, the base going on. And you're thinking the steak needs to come off. So let me turn the heat off because we're going to drain it. And then we're going to baste it with butter. And the heat from the cast iron or heavy bottom pan is going to be able to melt the butter. That's some gorgeous endive. Got a little bit extra there. We'll cut that back just a pitch. Yep. Looking nice on both sides. In the rag. Great thing about a cast iron pan is that it has a little slots in it to pour oil out. Okay. So here we're going to take one tablespoon of butter per person, melt it in there, and then we're going to baste both sides of it. And we'll get lined up for the other ingredients for our salad. A big basting spoon. Move the butter around. And please, not just with the curated meal kits, do this anytime that you are cooking the steak at home in a pan. This is what makes it total restaurant quality. Other than the, the quality of the steak itself, you've got also the butter. Give it a little flip. And give it about five base per. Now there's something in the pan at this point called a fond, which is sort of the beef and juice. And you want to use that because we're going to be warming up the mushrooms in it. So uh, I like using a cookie sheet to rest the steak. I want to rest it about five minutes. So now we're going to get the, uh, the pan back warm again and then get to medium heat. Let me make sure I've got that. Now cook the mushrooms, one tablespoon of butter per person, plus the butter and beef juice that was in there. And we're going to cook it for about four minutes. But while we're waiting for that to warm up, I'm going to take our serrano ham and lay it out over our endive. This is such a beautiful salad. go. Okay, butter is melting. Let's throw the mushrooms in there. Make sure to season them with salt and pepper near the end. Okay, we get rid of that. Um, and then we are going to top with our toasted almonds. A little bit of almond dust in there and gives it some great textural component. And then our black olives. And it's such a beautiful, briny, delicious salad. And there's a little bit of the olive juice going around, so Make sure to clean off the sides. And there we go. Our endive and chev, uh, lemon vinaigrette, uh, black olive, toasted almond, serrano ham salad. All right, let's get ready for the main course and for the dessert. We can use our tongs, give the mushrooms a little stir. At this point, We'll turn down the heat just in case my timing is a titch off from our potatoes 
and broccoli and season it with salt and pepper. I'm actually going to turn the heat off completely and that's just going to keep cooking nicely in the fond with the butter and the stuff. It smells amazing. So main course wine, we've got the color field. This is great stuff from South Africa, from Stellenbosch, best red wine growing region in South Africa. Um, I was just reading about the Boer War yesterday. It's so interesting. And then a uh, blend of Shiraz, uh, Merlot and Cabernet. And it is really nice. Okay, so while that's happening, let's go ahead and plate the dessert. So tonight we've got a lemon and strawberry tart. You wanna take it right out of the fridge, put it in your bowl or on your plate. And then we're gonna to top with the whipped honey and almonds, different almonds. These are blanched almonds versus, um, uh, versus the um, uh, smoked almonds that we have for our appetizer. You know what, I think I'm gonna change the direction to be able to, for the honey to be able to um, bring this out to room temperature because it's gonna be a little easier to spread. I'm sure it's still going to be delicious. Mm. That is very nice. And I can't forget to mention, we are now delivering to cottage country. If you guys have a cottage near Perth or friends near Perth for that matter, on um, Fridays and Saturdays, you can pick up our meal kits at the Perth Brewery. You just go online to curatedbybecta.com, and then when you're checking out, make sure to check out uh, for the Perth Brewery pickup. And for no extra charge, we drive it out to you. And you just swing by and pick it up anytime after 12 o'clock on uh, Friday at 12 till 8 on Friday or 12 to 6 on Saturday. And our friends at Perth Brewery will hook you up. So there is our lovely dessert. Uh, lemon and strawberry tart with whipped black pepper honey and candied almonds. Um, all right, so why don't we go ahead and get plating. Don't need this anymore. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to bring the steaks over. And with flank steak, you always have to slice it in order to make it... Um, in order to make it uh, um, tender. So there is some grain going down and you wanna cut it against the grain. And you wanna cut it as thin as you can, but you know, about a half inch per slice. And after you've rested it for five minutes, then the juices should all stay in there. And it should be lovely. And what the chefs do is turn over the final side in order to be able to see the nice medium rareness, if that's what you like. So again, flip the other side there. And we're good. Hey Google, how much time is left on the timer? Well, there you go. So my timing was a little off, so I'm gonna rush this just a little bit because I don't want the video to go on extra long. I'm sure this stuff is looking good, but make sure that you do it for 15 minutes. The smokiness of the smoked potatoes is smelling amazing. So we're gonna divide up the potatoes. And again, they've been seasoned already with salt and pepper and olive oil before going in. So you do not need to season them again but you should season the steak again. My salt and pepper is over here. And by fanning out the steak, you can get a little more salt and pepper in the crevices too. There we go. 
Make sure to leave a little bit of side to be able to swoosh the um, chimichurri mayo, which is amazing dipping stuff. So the mushrooms can go on top of the potatoes beside the broccoli. And if you're feeling decadent, why not a little bit of that fond in the butter? I promise you will love it. Steak goes on here nice. Again, see if you can fan it so that the steak is spread out. Hey Google, timer off. And then the chimichurri mayo. Give it a little chef swoosh in there. thing to behold. Mm. I love this stuff. Clean up our plate a little bit. And that is our lovely uh, soy marinated plank steak with the smoked potatoes, the oyster mushrooms in the fond, roasted broccoli, and the chimichurri mayo. I hope you love your meal kit this week. We're very grateful for your support and thanks so much for ordering and bon appetit. We hope to see you in the restaurant or back again with some curated packages very soon.